They have continued to pounce on individuals that want to illegally export millimil to neighboring countries. The officers have impounded over 7,000 bags of millimil that were allegedly hidden in this garage. These trucks in the premises are loaded with the commodity, while other bags have been offloaded for onward export to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Speaking when he visited the Garage and Corruption Commissioner Director General Tom Shamakamba issued a restriction notice on this property with the view of forfeiting to the state the premises and the truck used to transport the milli mill. So I'm just announcing to the public that ACC will be working with the other law enforcement officers to bring down the levels of smuggling of maize and the milli mill. So we have moved in, we have restricted the 48 vehicles and even here I will issue a restriction notice for this property. It will be, will be literally moving to a position where the property eventually should be forfeited to the state together with the vehicles that are here. And Copa Belt Police Commissioner Piswe Mwemba said five suspects have been arrested in connection to the Miri Mill. Well, I wish to warn members of the public that they should not involve themselves in illegalities as the commissioner said. Let us try to follow procedures because any mysterious behavior will lead to someone being arrested. Speaking at the same event, Copper Belt Province Permanent Secretary Augustine Kasongo announced the cancellation of trading permits for all the mini traders at Mokambo and Kasumbalesa borders. So the, those permits that were issued have been cancelled with effect from yesterday. So we've been guided by Secretary to Cabinet that we resubmit a fresh list of the people that are going to be dealing in Mimiu for Kasumbaresa and the Mokambo. So those that had permits authorized from provincial administration must be informed forthwith not to transact as you await fresh instructions. Government has intensified the fight against smuggling of Mirimil and those found wanting will be taken to court so that they can lose both the commodity and the vessels used to transport the commodity. Hector Simfukwe, ZMBC News in Indola.